Welcome to our last day of Anne Spring Look. We're going to end with a bang. <laughs> We've got some very special stamps for you. We do. We have big stamps, small stamps, postcards, clocks, hogs, kisses. Like, <laughs> stop me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of goodies. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. We're going to start with our small stamps, or we're going to end big, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so with our small stamps, we have three of them right here. The first one on the left is Hogs and Kisses. That's right. We and have, Well, wait a minute. Yeah. And um, I Love You More Than Pigs Love Mud. Oh, so just want to, isn't you know, that sweet? With complete the thing. <laughs> too. We have a swirly label. Right, and small, an inner piece, mm -hmm. as well as the corners. As well as corner pieces. Yeah. We have the small clock, the alarm clock, and it says, take the time to celebrate. Yes. So. And Anne did something really neat with this. Well, I can't wait to okay. show you what she did. Well, we're going to start with our Hogs and Kisses. Okie dokie. So here we go. And one thing, I mean, that's just charming. <laughs> it is. But I am so surprised because this is on, on butterfly wings, which is a vintage, elegant wait paper. A minute, wait a minute. So like when <laughs> pigs have wings, something like I that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but it really works. I think it's the pink, you know. Something that's... about that. So Anne stamped this. And first right. of all, she took those tiny little hearts. And I love this. She just went all the way around the edge to great, get this great border of and those tiny hearts. And that's why it's hearts. wiggly because they're all in one piece. Right. She's got the Hogs and Kisses sentiment down below. Then she colored it all in with Spectrum Noir. But what I like about this is that she did this extra little outline with one of the light yeah. colors of the Spectrum Noir. I don't know that I've seen that before. Yeah, that's just a great little treatment. It is. It gives a nice little outline. The other thing, of course, hogs are going to love copper. <laughs> just work with me here. So copper jewel border dazzles are around the edge so of that on butterfly wings. So here's how to combine copper and pink, if there you, you ever wonder. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the inside, um, love you more than pigs love mud. And so just a very sweet. Really cute. And then just highlighting some of that with the Spectrum Noir pens, a real simple thing yeah. to do. And this is not stamping. This is what the paper has right. on it. So just so that you it's know we're a, not withholding right. anything. It's a beautiful set of papers. On top is one of the striped papers that has yeah. all of those elements. Now on the inside, it looks like a gray around. Right. But on the front, it's more of a salmon color. Right. So, salmon or cream. It's just yeah. beautiful. And Very that's a, nice. a great idea. OK. So that's our example of uh, Hogs and Kisses. I hope you're making notes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to our uh, time to celebrate, and this is using the new label swing die cut cards. So five cards, five envelopes. These are one piece, right? And so you're going to get it when it's go. like this, and you can do some decorating. This is with hopscotch. I love the hopscotch papers on here. The little circles. It, it looks like a celebration with it all does. those little circles, and Hence, it's been done. Take time to celebrate. Right. <laughs> this has been paper piece. So Anne oh. stamp this. First on that green paper, that's the background. Then she stamped it again on the orange and the blue and the red and cut them out separately and paper pieced it together. And you can see that that's ringing, ringing. Right. And then on the back side, what an effective use of stamping off. Right, that's, that's what I was talking about. I just think that's great. First to stamp it on there in bold and then without re-inking, sort of turn it a little bit, go off to the side and just keep stamping right. and then do it again over on the right. And then again, paper piecing on top of that. Can't you just that. see it wiggling? Right. Yes, you can. It you can see it wiggling. Motion. <laughs> and very fun, black jewel border dazzles were used to and edge all the pieces. A beautiful, nice, bright um, impact on those papers. And of course, sweet. with all of the uh, die cut card packages, the paper patterns are included. So right. you don't have to try to figure that out. Right. We've you got just, you covered. You cut out the paper pattern, <laughs> you trace it onto your paper, yeah. cut it out, and it gives you this nice white matted border right. all the way around. Perfect. Great. Now we're going to go into our label this time and we're going to use that on a label gatefold. Now when Anne used this one she used the chameleon pens didn't right. she? She did and this particular set I have is the uh, cool tones set. Okay, let's get in close to really see. So that gradation that you see is the hallmark of the uh, of the chameleon, chameleon pens. Mm -hmm. They the one of the pens looks like this. So I have one of the 
the, I think this is grapes, oh no, this is deep violet, but it's got a mixing chamber up in the top, but the actual pen is down here. It's got a cap on both ends, so you have, um, you've got the fine point on this, it's a very soft fine point, and then you have a, uh, this is fine point is a harder point, so this mm. is a really, let's see, I'm gonna do it on the back of this so you can see it's just a, a fine line in that way, but the other side, I call it a fine point. I, I can't remember what they call this. And, oh, it's the brush nib. That's what it is. So that when you press on it, it's soft. You can get a wide look. Oh, you that's can get surprising. It tiny. <laughs> right. It's sort of like a brush, and it yeah. is soft. But this is just the pen. You can use it just like that. Or you combine it with the mixing chamber. Now, in there, there is a blending solution. And when you take off that cap, you place that barrel on top of there, and you allow gravity by holding it up upright to uh, uh, let the blending solution go into the actual brush nib here of this pen. You can use either side of the pen, and you want to hold it there for a little while, and you want to figure out how long you want to do it. It can be between five and 10 seconds. Okay. The longer you hold it, the more of that blending solution is going to um, infuse into that pen. And then when you set it down, it's going to start very light and turn dark as you go. So the more you go, you can see that it starts light and then it moves into a lighter, um, a darker color. And that's exactly what was done there. So you can see that that kind of lighter area in the middle, that's where she started and then went darker. Now on the outside, she used the aqua color and started against the label and moved back. And moved back. Right. And if you have to start again, you can you can stop at some point. You can place the mixing chamber back on that pen and do it again. Also, she used the pen without the mixing chamber to go around the edges of the card oh, prints to get that beautiful okay. uh, purple edging. I also want to show you a really neat technique that she did on the front of those pattern papers. You can see that little scroll work if you're getting close. You can see it on this side mm -hmm. and on that side. Well, what Anne did is that she cut those two pattern pieces for the front. And here's the pattern pieces, except that she also cut that label area out here, which you follow the paper patterns and you'll get that effect. Mm -hmm. Before she put them on her card, she put them right next to each other. So there's the seam in the middle. She's got the small stamp, just like that. So let me place it here so you can see it. And then she inked up that stamp. And while the pieces of paper were sitting next to each other, she stamped across both of them right on the center line of that paper. I'm trying to line it up from the distance here. Yeah, there we go. Can. There we go. So you stamp it, and you stamp it several times going down. And that way, when you pull them apart, then you've got one of those flourishes on both up. sides. OK, right. let me bring this in so you can see. There you go. And this so is that's just on a nice little technique. Emma's garden. She's also added some uh, pink flower dazzles. And this is the, as I said, the label gatefold card. Mm -hmm. And you do get these extra pieces. You get two of those that are popping out. Right. She used that, that label in the, big, in the center mm -hmm. so that you can actually see behind it to the inside, there you to go. the paper that's on the inside. And that's what she has on the inside. Yes. So she's got the silver, silver linen, linen specialty paper. Right. I love the use of those purple dual border dazzles. Isn't that she kind just of gorgeous? Cuts them, off, cuts them off in this pattern radiating down. And that's what they look like. So right. keeping her purple and her aqua or her teal. Right. Up in the corner, she used the little corner stamps as well. She did that by uh, cutting out a small triangle of the paper just to get that little yeah. corner border, seamed it with the border dazzles and stamp the corners. Lots going on. I mm -hmm. like the idea of opening this and there's a surprise of color and right. uh, those uh, jewel dazzles mm -hmm. going down. Just really pretty. Well, those are our three small stamps. Now, how about a large stamp? And this <laughs> is eight inches by eight inches. So it's really very large. And we needed it that large because we wanted each of these postcards to be a really dramatic size. Right, they are huge focals, which is wonderful, but also you have all of this additional ephemera that sort of goes right. with it. Roses, greetings via airmail. I love all of these, the stamp. Very pretty, so lots of options. Right. And here is Anne's first option, 
and look what she has done. So <laughs> she's got this beautiful card. It's actually on butterfly wings paper in the back mm -hmm. and the silver metallic and there's that gorgeous focal right on the front. And you'll notice that even on that focal she's also added some of the smaller pieces that you talked about, the greetings right. and the rose. Right, colored them in, foam taped them on top and I want to point out that on the silver metallic mm -hmm. she used another one of our new design toolkits. This is design toolkit number eight and here it is right here. It's this beautiful label that's called Delightful Label, and it goes like that. Like that. It's also on the inside. She did that out of the silver metallic paper. And so. what she used to color these in were the Spectrum Noir uh, blendable pencils. They're, we're having a lot of fun with these in tech now <laughs> because they're just really, really vivid. You can use them in combination okay. with the pens or you can use them on their own and then you can blend them or not blend them. So that vividness is how they're going to be different perhaps from watercolor pencils? Exactly. Okay. So watercolor pencils, you can only, only get so much uh, of a intensity pop, but mm -hmm. this is much more intense for this particular um, stamp she's got um, she used the essentials maybe another set I don't have that in front of me you'll have to look at the gallery this is the essentials it comes with if you look at the edge all of the colors that you see right in here which I think is a great mix of colors ah. that's why it's essential it's got a broad range she used I believe the nature with it so. the nature and mm -hmm. I think it's possibly maybe. both of them <laughs> but um, Anyway, the gallery tells you all that. And what she suggests and what we've talked about before with blendable pencils is when you start coloring, you want to start coloring very lightly. You're going to lay down color in, in layers. So I'm going to do a very light layer like that. And then I'm going to like come the other direction and lay down another layer. And if I press too hard right now, instead of just putting lots and lots of layers to get that dark color, I press too hard, you're only going to get, it's going, um, it's going to burnish it. That's just what's going to happen. Mm. The wax is going to burnish and you won't be able to add any more color. So I just keep adding more and more color, you can see. And then if I want to, I can start adding a little bit more of a darker color right on the edges and just layers on layers. So to get that really dark color, you would add a second color to it. You, oh, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a second <laughs> color. It could be the same color. And if you want to see it get dark, I'll just really start. There is a layer, and there's another layer on top. And now you're seeing that oh, darker I see. color. I could use yeah. that one. I like the combination of, since you have all of these other colors, of adding a little bit too. more of a different hue. You get that shadow and highlight. Right. So You'll notice that she really left it much lighter yeah. on, in the center of the petals and the darker on the edge. And you can do it the reverse if you like. But mm -hmm. I also like that she didn't do every single bit of this stamp. She left some of it just black ink, and then the color just really pops. So that's a nice... Uh, little note to make right. and on the inside of mm -hmm. her card she has used another of the on butterfly wings and just use the corner of the but of the oh, postcard that's great. stamp. Yeah, just a little piece of Very it. Very nice. It's nice. Very pretty. Now scrapbookers we have something for you and look at this beauty. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. The first thing that I see <laughs> is that beautiful oval right in the center. I which do. Is gorgeous. How do you make that How oval? Do you might ask. <laughs> How about easy ovals template right. is going to make it super easy and you're going to get let's see one two three four five six seven eight ovals. Oh, more and more down. Oh, the and nine. Nine and ten. <laughs> <laughs> so ten ovals. So you have a variety of sizes. And an oval, as is demonstrated on this page, is just elegant. It is. Really pretty. And then it has got this great cluster of postcards down yes. at the bottom. The three stamps, which were stamped on the pattern paper. And these were color in, colored in with the watercolor pencils. Right. The, and we have several different sets, and you can combine some of the colors. Just beautiful. So those are really easy to color with, and you can just color them and leave them as such. Or you can mix them. There is a... Um, there is a paintbrush that comes right. with that scent. This you is can how they come. To blend them. So you get this whole uh, triangle of pencils right. and a paintbrush with it, and um, right. that just works. So another just pick up a little bit of water and blend those colors really simply. But then the last sort of the pièce de résistance is that she um, sprayed these with gold glitter ah. dust spray to get a nice extra pop. There we go. Very pretty, mm -hmm. and yet not in your face pop. I mean. 
mean, it is a glitter, but it's a dust, as the name indicates. It just gives a really pretty sheen. Right. I love that she computer journaled on here. You know, for I didn't ah. even really, I just thought that was part of the stamp, I forgot. <laughs> Those are open in the center so that you can do just that. And the computer journaling is just so beautiful. It fits in perfectly. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, it what a nice beautiful. look. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the postcards. Now, Janie has been added again, Barry fairies. <laughs> so we have little bears that are fairies always with hot off the press large stamps you're always going to get an idea and I'll show that to you to begin with and here it is yes this is a bear fairy flying on a frog <laughs> absolutely charming so that's great and that's done with the spectrum noir pens I it believe. is and some just really bright colors on there and also the circles and scallops cutting dies were used around to, for that focal. Right, and just absolutely charming. Happy birthday. And this one doesn't have an inside, oh, but. There's even a little bit of glitter up there. Oh, there is. Place. Well, of course. Oh, stickles. Stickles there are used you go. for accents. Perfect for the little um, star wand. And here is what Anne has done. So she's taking our triple bear fairies and put them on a star, a wishing star, wishing you. And then we have another one. Actually, this is a perfect use of these triple easel triple cards. Star easel yeah, card. that's just that's wonderful. You and have all of those images happiness. that you can put on there, and, and ending with the small up. star. So sweet. I love that on the edges. She has used the edge of the dazzle sheet and cut thin strips <laughs> to line the edges and for the wand as well. So these are the star dazzles. Right. If you could also use just gold jewel dazzles on there as well. Isn't that darling? Just, just beautiful. Very sweet. I want to show you something. If you close it all up, I can show you close it again. one other thing, uh, something that Anne mentioned. So you can decorate each one of those easels, but the fact that she covered up this part of the easel here and the part underneath the star with the same paper that she covered the inside of the card with just makes this seamless uh, front of the card. So there's just that. It also star. allows that back piece to look nice from the right. back of the card right. when it's standing. So now how were these colored? These were colored with the blendable pencils also. Okay. And if I have this correctly, the essential set has a lot of those in there. It's possible she used two of them. You'll have to look on the gallery, but the pinks, the browns, they're all within here. But in this case, she didn't just color them in with the pencil. She also blended it afterwards. So I'm just going to do a little bit. And which Scoot one am I using? Maybe I'll bit. choose a wing <laughs> to. This is completely different color than she used, but I'm just going to show you that if you start on a wing and you get it light, and I'm going to try to sort of lighten it up as I get to the outer edge there. Keep it dark down at this end and lighter up there. Okay. And you just keep laying those colors down. So I'm getting, with each layer that I add, I'm adding a, a little bit darker and I'll just leave it a little light. I do not have to blend it perfectly right now because I'm going to let the blending solution do that for me. And that's what's great about these blendable pencils is that afterwards you're going to be blending them. I'm going to get as dark as I can right there. And if I want to make it even darker, I'll take a little bit darker pink, get it a little darker. Now I've really got to that point to where I probably can't add any more color. It only takes so much. And that's where I bring in the blending solution. And this is um, sold separately, but you can use it. That's what it's intended to be used with the blendable pencils. I'm going to put a little bit in that lid or some other container. And then I use the paper stumps. And the paper stumps, they come in several different sizes. For the moment, I think I'll use the, this medium one. We also sell um, sandpaper strips so that you can sand those off and get those sharpened up again. And just get a little bit of that solution. You can see it on there. And start blending it. I'm going to start with the dark. And I'm going to move into the light. And you see. So it erases all of the pencil lines. Well, y yeah, in mm -hmm. effect, it does that. It's because it's blending that wax together and right. making a smooth transition. Huh. And so there you go. Way so to go. The little lines go away, and it makes it nice and vivid. It's just a beautiful 
So what we found is whether you use large stamps, elegant look or fun, or if you use small stamps, you can use lots of mediums. So right. we did chameleon pens, spectrum nor, watercolor right. pencils. So we did blendable pencils, and blendable right, pencils. chameleon pens, and super fun. Lots of things to use with these wonderful stamps. Whatever you have, you can use. Hope and you'd enjoyed this great yes, week. Yes, right. And thank you, Anne. Yes, great <laughs> job, Anne. And we'll see you next week with okay. more Weeks of Webisodes. Okay. <laughs>